Do what you want in hip hop, you a faggot ass college folk, baby, you flip flops. Fierce words were exchanged on Wednesday, May 9th, as eight talented MCs duped it out in Bruin Plaza in a tournament style rap battle to win $400. Sponsored by the Campus Events Commission, the MC Rap Battle was a rap war open to all challengers and spectators. The show ended with Jean-Pierre Giannoli from Long Beach taking home the grand prize. Vincent Noy Pierre, the first ever winner of the MC Battle. Though most of the crowd was entertained by the battle, several audience members expressed concern at the type of language used on stage. I like the idea of it because I'm a really big hip hop fan, but um, I don't think it went really well. Um, they didn't put down a lot of rules for the people battling because they didn't really take into consideration the crowd. There were a lot of derogatory remarks made about different ethnic groups, about women, and a lot of terms that were used are just really offensive to a lot of people. I thought it was I thought it was great, you know, just to see like students out there promoting the things that they love the most, but at the same time I do think that it was a little derogatory in terms of how far they went. You know, you can cross the line and kind of like push the border a little bit, but some of the things they said, I was like, "Oh my gosh, you know, I don't I don't know if this is something even I want to be listening to." One audience member was so upset about the remarks, the UCLA Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Campus Resource Center was contacted to be made aware of the event. Some of the profanity-laden phrases the MCs freestyled at the battle referred to homosexuality, race, and body weight. Others did not view the foul language as something to worry about. In fact, these words are considered common lingo for the hip hop world. It's all fun and games up there. I mean, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make fun of people in order to get cash, in order to get the crowd to get into it. So I mean, it's when you're on stage. I mean, you're you're a different person. You don't need to be friends out that strictly just battling. You know, the time when people are saying it is because a it's an easy way to diss someone, and b I mean you can rhyme a lot of shit with the word gay. So. What the, what the hell? I mean, it's 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 really no. It's nothing personal. Like no one's no one's saying it because they're actually like homophobic or anything. But this performance in a public arena where children are present may have gotten a little too mature for the crowd. Like, I have I have no problem with them having rap battles. Um, just maybe like at a later time, uh, or maybe just even a different location, like in the middle of the quad. Um, with like kids around and stuff like that like I don't know if it gives off the right image that UCLA wants to portray It looks like this battle of words may have damaged more than just egos and pride for DBTV. This is Janice Jan yeah, yeah.